Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. And we are here at the Jane Alyssa Estravaganza at the Marriott Marquis, and I'm here with the soap star. You all know him very well from One Life to Live. Introduce yourself to the camera doll. Robert S. Woods, Bold Buchanan. Yes, and you were on that soap for how many years? Oh, 32 years. 32 years. Yeah. I can't believe they took that From off the air. I'm so, about a year ago. I'm so devastated that they took that off the air. I know. There are a lot of people who are I, I, that I've talked to. I run into them at Lowe's upstate when I'm buying something to work on the house. And so the people will say... Um, and they're very angry about it. They won't watch the shows that replaced us. Really? No. Have you watched any of the new shows that are on ABC? No. <laughs> I'm no. Tell, I've watched them. They're not, there's nothing better about them. I don't know, I, understand what the whole book was about that they had to take one line. But yet they kept General Hospital. Well, General Hospital is sort of the old, that was, that was the anchor. Uh, so was children. So were we. Those three yeah. shows. I never thought they'd ever end. I really. I, I never thought, thought it would end too. I, I swear to God. But I noticed that they take a lot of the actors from One Life to Live have gone to on General to General Hospital. Hospital. I think that's great. I do too. I do too. I talked to Michael Easton the other day, uh, uh, and he's funny because he kept saying, "You know, why don't you, you know, come on." I pitched an idea, you know, and you know, and um, could you, would you do it? You know, it would bring me there for an episode or so. And I said, yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking, I don't know. You know, I like to watch. I don't know if I want. If I, uh, I want my, I want my summer upstate. My little. I understand how you feel. Yeah, my little I country do. place. I do. I, I do like understand how TV, you feel. Is there life after one life to live? Sure. Sure. The, what are you the doing now? Be, I'm re, I'm just playing. I'm mowing. I'm uh, planting, and I'm uh, putting down compost and, and and pine bark mulch on top of it, and weeding. You need to come out to the Hamptons. Oh no! But this is upstate. This is fun. I'm. We're gonna plant a crop out in this field uh, this year. Uh, I'm just. I'm. I'm just. Having fun, just you know, we make well, it up. You look terrific. My wife and I, we make it up as we go along. It's like, what do you want to do today? You, know? you look terrific. Tell my audience why you are such a big supporter of Jane Alyssa's foundation. Well, Jane, we go way back with Jane, twenty some years, and uh, I knew her, you know, her mom, you know, and uh, and it, it's it's fantastic. She throws herself into this means so much to her. She's so enthusiastic. Um, I mean, you can see. You can imagine the amount of time it took her to uh, to build this all this whole thing together, and, yeah. And shawls and purses and everything else, and and in the midst of what she's always doing for leukemia, she was also always very, very supportive of One Life to Live. She always come to the fan club things and bring bring her stuff. I there. remember the, one of the first events I ever went to. Eileen Kristen was there. Now I'm a friend of hers. And oh yeah. I adore Eileen. I really she do. She is a classic. God. She really is. My first screen test for daytime, I would have played Frank Ryan. I had been working opposite of her. It's in 1975, I think. 75 or 6. Whatever it was, I couldn't even remember my name. I'm luckily 
I'm lucky that, that I recognized it when they called it over the loudspeaker in Los Angeles. I, uh, but I met Claire Labine and yeah, and we did work together on One Life when yeah, she played Georgie. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was back in she eighty four and five when she was there. Eighty three even maybe I don't know. Yeah, she was fun. Still is fun. She's just. It was a great show, and I will remember forever because I tell you the truth. I used to love to watch one, all, all my children because I love Susan Lucci. Yeah. But I always thought that One Life to Live had better stories, better sets, better costumes. Uh, to the very end, their costumes and everything, the sets were just amazing. Yeah. And I loved interviewing Robin Strasser too. Oh, She's such yeah. a such a diva. I just love her. Well, we have we had a wonderful company with her and Erica, uh, Phil. See, a lot of the guys I love so dearly, you know, Clint Ritchie, Phil Carey, you know, they're gone. And when that, those were the Buchanans to me. I was sort of along for the ride. You are right, you're right about that. And he was an accomplished movie star. Sure. He was in some big Hollywood movies. Yeah, he, his first uh, movie that he ever worked on was with John Wayne. He screen tested yeah. with the Duke, Operation I can't Pacific, believe that. with Patricia Neal, yeah. John Wayne, Ward Bond. And Philip Carey. What was he like? Did he ever tell you uh, what the big Duke was like? Oh, yeah, 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 he did. He loved the Duke. He, uh, he, he went, emulated him. He tried to emulate well, him. Well, yeah, he sort of fell into that. But he, he uh, John Wayne went to bat for Philly to play, you know, that role on uh, Operation Pacific. So he had to fly from, he being Phil, had to fly from the East Coast to screen test with John Wayne. And it was the days where they had the prop planes, and when he got there, he said the Duke just said, you look tired, kid. Go in my room, get some rest, let us know when you're ready. Love and he it. went in there, he couldn't rest, you know, he was like, ugh. Pretty soon he came out, they did it. Duke, he was his choice, so, you know, he was in it. And um, and I told, I told Philly, I mean, he, and I said, you know, you love the Duke so much. You know, you're the Duke. To, you're my Duke. That's right. He was like the Duke on One Life to Live. He I really said, was. I said, you're Everybody my, looked up to him. You, now you know how I feel about you because, uh, and his son is my godson, Sean. Um, I don't know. I think about him constantly. I've got, I've got a lot of props that he'd take. Was he like a father to you? Yeah. He was a buddy to me, but he, he was like a grandfather to my son, Tanner. Wow. Jane Alyssa, if you go to Jane Alyssa's foundation, you can donate, you can participate, and you can contribute. Yes. And I want you to tell my audience, do you do it? Of, for, you know, to find a cure find for Find a leukemia. cure for leukemia. Yeah. Now, do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page? No. no None I'm, of that. I'm not into any of no. He, I he likes to just plant. I don't tweet. See this interview on Cognac's Corner, Meg.com. All right, all right. All right, that you I promise me you'll watch. We'll be back in a moment, dog. So more interviews right here at the Jane Alyssa Extravagant. We'll be back in a moment, dog. So more celebrity interviews coming up. Big champagne kisses. Talk of darkness. Forget these white eyed fears.
Jane Alyssa Extravaganza, and she is going to be awarded a very special award tonight. And these are two fabulous Broadway stars. You just saw them singing. I want you both to introduce yourselves to the camera. Well, I'm Sean McDermott. I'm Glory Crampton. You guys were just terrific. You both work so hard, and you really love what you do. And tell my audience why you are such big supporters of Jane Alyssa. Well, of course, the Leukemia Society, and uh, we love Jane and all of her, um, you know, memorabilia, all of her great stuff. She had a store here at the Marriott, and, and uh, she just, she gives so much from her heart, and, and she does these She benefits. certainly does. Two, three Doesn't times a year, and we, you know, I, I used to live in New York, and I live out in L.A. now, and I come back and forth, and I, every time I'll come back and do these, because we love doing them. Mm -hmm. You've done them, too, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we both do a lot of benefits. I see that, yeah. and you, the both of you together are oh. just amazing. Your oh, voice you. just blows thank me away. You. Both your voices. <laughs> you so were as Maria yeah. and you as Tony. I mean, yeah. one just, more. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we just sang tonight from West Side Story and we oh, actually yeah, just we did beautiful. the show together. So, and it's some of the most yeah. beautiful music. You know, so tell music. me guys, what are you both up to right now? What are you doing in LA? Well, I, I sing all the time. I'm singing every weekend and of that in the background. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I have uh, five recordings out. I do a lot of uh, symphony concerts. I tour all over the country and all over the world, and TV and film in, in LA, and a lot of recording, studio recording and stuff. And, and, uh, do you yeah. miss Broadway? I miss it a lot. There's I, nothing I like Broadway. Been up to. I, I do a lot of concert work as well, and I have some dates coming up at Feinstein's. Um, oh, great. I'd love July. to. I want to yeah. come and see yeah, you. I've got, I've got two dates in July, and um, I have a one woman show that I'm touring around based on a. Uh, my CD that came out, um, and did you uh, record it at Abbey Road Studios? Yeah, with I the recorded National at Abbey Symphony Road with National Symphony. Yeah, and um, I just got back two weeks ago from Houston, where I was uh, at the Houston Theater That's Under the Stars. That's why these two are moving. They're, I'm, they're breaking my heart. They're moving to Houston. Oh, Houston, yeah. Houston's a great city. It's yeah. not like New York, yeah. but yeah. it is. Great. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my dad used to live there. It's a great theater there. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. The theater Under the Stars. Fantastic. Yeah. The, it's through about three different theaters, and Theater in the Round, and then outside, and then they have a beautiful performing arts center. We go to donate, participate, and support. Jane Alyssa. Jane Alyssa Myers, Myers Foundation. Foundation, and you can go to her website yeah. and Terrific. donate there. <laughs> you guys are the so, best. So Thank you. You knock it Sonia. dead with those yeah. voices. Give me a kiss. <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment, dogs, with more celebrity interviews right here at the Jane Alyssa Foundation. Jane Alyssa Extravaganza at the Marriott Marquis. Woman of the Year. Pink <laughs> Women of the Year. Keep watching, dogs. More interviews coming up. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. I said Cognac, ooh, ooh. I said Cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.